Have you gotten your UNI website but want to make sure it's completely optimized? Well, in this video, I'll show you how. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about optimizing your UNI website and there's this blog which I will leave a link down below or you can also follow along and you know click on all the links that you need and I'll be showing different customer websites um, along the way to kind of explain um, how you can optimize your own website. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into that. All right, so this article has a lot of uh, different talking points. Here are all the different um, sections if you want to jump in between them but we'll start off nice and easy with some of the more more let's say obvious things so pick a theme that works well with your content we've launched a few new templates during the last few months so make sure to check them out um, if you're interested here i will show you some different customer templates and kind of elaborate a little bit more about what that means you know picking the right template so here we have a website called um, Reclid production as you can see it's a very nice black and uh, red template um, it really goes well with with some of the pictures even you know with the red dress like the red um, cups the red teapot stuff like that or sorry the red coffee maker you can really you know make a big difference in your website by making it look very presentable, very professional. I'll give you another example here. This is a person that sells, um, you know, wood crafts, um, homemade wooden items. And once again, really nice templates, really nice premium templates that go super well with the products they're presenting. But of course, if you'd like to learn more, we have this help article, which, you know, talks a little bit about each of these templates, which um, you can select in your UNI uh, builder, your editor. So, you know, you can easily swap between templates and see which one kind of goes best with your products. As you can see, here's one that I already showed you in the in the last website that i showed and then this is the modern one is the first one i believe this is the reclit um, production so yeah pick a template and font that goes really well with you with your product your style does matter customers will definitely see that right away use a font that represents your business if you need help we also have obviously another article here there's going to be a lot of different articles linked um, in this video so make sure to check out this main link which contains all of them so this is the same article it's just you scroll down to find different fonts that are going to be best for your business okay so moving on into point number three products and services are populated obviously make sure to have all the relevant information um, including images prices descriptions to your services and products and we have another guide for making your product shine so um, it's called getting the most out of your products it's a bit of a longer read but once again it'll be um, in the link link in the description down below here is an example of a customer that had a really good job with their products nice quality photos descriptions uh, add to cart feature which we'll talk a little bit about later and then a small little description here of the product so obviously that helps makes your business look way more professional your, your products more professional and makes people want to buy them from you so another thing to talk about um, is your business more service centric we have a services guide here is an example of a you know services um, client that we have so this is a cleaning service in Dallas and here they have a similar layout they have residential cleaning moving cleaning commercial cleaning and Airbnb cleaning so um, you can do the same thing if you're selling services or products the thing that we also want to talk about is pricing so letting your customers um, know your prices goes a long way towards building trust not sure how to edit prices we have another guide so if you're you know think about it yourself if you're a, a customer and you're looking at various products you'd like to know right away what the prices are uh, you don't want to have to reach out and, and you know people want everything with convenience and they want it fast so they don't want to spend the additional time to ask about certain costs. This is a little different because it's a cleaning service, so it'll depend on, you know, how quickly you need it, what's the area. But for product services like this one, for example, all the prices are right there. They're, def they're defined and they're, you know, there's a picture and you know exactly what you're getting with the money you're spending. Moving along, images provided. Um, use awesome images. If it's one thing that you've noticed from the three different websites I've showed you, they all have fantastic pictures of their products. So high quality images make a huge difference for conversions. If you want help uploading images, get in touch with us or check out our help article. So how to edit your services 
um, very useful. And then services are bookable, make it convenient for your customers to book you. Here's a guide how to create bookable services. So um, actually one of the examples that we had here, which was this one that was cleaning, already has that enabled. As you can see with one click of a button, you can book the service and it's super convenient. It tells you the date, the kind of service you'd like. Um, the price is obviously gonna be included by the owner of the business. And yeah, super important to have that stuff um, convenient and easy, easy, easily accessible to the customer. So moving along, you know, buy button enabled, shopping cart enabled. These are things that these websites have. Um, select PayPal to get paid online by credit card, debit card, or through PayPal. Select pay at pickup um, slash on delivery for in-person payment. If you are only taking cash in person, make sure to specify that on your website. Delivery methods chosen, let your customers know how they'll get their items. Um, our shopping cart guide will help you with this. So um, if that's something that you're interested in, obviously check that out. Add a return policy. This is very important. A return policy is mandatory if you're selling online. If you're not sure, you know, terms and services, the legality stuff, um, what to put. We also have an extensive guide on, you know, shopping cart documentation, stuff like that, which is super important. Okay, moving along, number five, description slash about us. A few different categories to talk about here. We have opening hours. We have um, add a my team um, selection. We have amenities and then we have a blog, which here it says that the blog is not available, but actually we do have this feature. So this is a little bit outdated this article. So let's talk about opening hours. Um, if you are this cleaning service, they put their opening hours at the bottom. So availability 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, they're closed on Saturday and Sunday. And then we have a, you know, add my team selection. If you're a one man show, if you're a one person business, maybe not um, a feature that you need, but if you do have a whole team behind you, um, letting your customers know a little bit more about your team builds trust with them. So absolutely, you know, a crucial to add that feature depending on which team you're using you can format these a little differently so we recommend going through each guide to see the best format so depending on which template you've decided you can you know choose the best team selection um, section with that theme Moving on into amenities, crucial during social distancing. Oh, thank God that stuff is kind of behind us. Also good for accreditations. Amenities um, are where we can show off uh, unique and helpful assets of your business. So this is a guide how to actually edit your amenities in the UNI builder. But here, here is an example of amenities. So this is, I think this person did a really good job of having their amenities at the bottom here. So perks, um, call the type, you can call it whatever you want. So 24 uh, seven availability, free consultation, debit and credit card, um, credit cards accepted, Venmo accepted, handcrafted, and female owned, owned a lot of really useful information for customers. Now the last part here is the blog area. Um, many customers have asked for a blog style page of the website and now we do have that feature. Here's a really cool website, the Swiss Aviator, a website to help secure the first step to a successful aviation career. And as you can see, they have a blog section talking about various topics um, in his space, how to make money in flying, your first pilot job, getting to know your aviators, stuff like that. So um, really cool channel. And if you, you know, if, you're, if, it's, if it's a blog that you want on your website, that's definitely something you can do with you and I. Number six, contact information clear. So this is very obvious, but sometimes obvious things are missed. Your first sale or booking could be um, a call, an email, or a WhatsApp message. Um, make sure people can get in touch with you. So a phone number, WhatsApp, email. I think all, all of these websites have those options. So you can send them a message. Um, they have an email here at the bottom and they also have a phone number. So um, the more ways you give your client or your customer to contact you, the better. One other thing to note here is that the email is a professional email, which is what you get with you and I. So, you know, a professional email looks a lot better than your personal e email on your business website at least. So having that is very crucial. Moving on into number seven, high quality images. We kind of talked about this, high quality custom images used. So high quality images have a massive impact on your potential clients or customers um, that view your page. Um, not sure where to start with your with any great photos. We have a awesome photo guide, which I think I will probably turn into a, a video at some point down the road, how to create amazing product photos on a budget. We talk about lighting, we talk about the cameras available. A lot of people already have a decent camera and it's 
actually on their phone the big step to you know improving the quality of your photos is going to be a lot with framing lighting background stuff like that so very useful information uh, useful information there then we move on into the video section which we do have uh, available to you as well if a photo is worth a thousand words a video is worth even more very clever from from our, our person that wrote this article so we also have a guide on how to upload videos um, to the UNI website okay moving on to number eight merchant policies so protecting your business from fraud is important and having a clear enforceable merchant policy having clear enforceable merchant policies is a great way to do that if uh, you got your own that's awesome you can add them like this so we have a um, section here that talks about editing your terms of service uh, of your business so you know terms of service privacy policy processing time stuff like that all super important uh, that you have sorted out before you launch your business okay so moving on to number nine promotion and FOMO fear of missing out the fear of missing out is one of the most useful marketing tools available to small businesses for details on how to harness this within your UNI page check out this website so UNI allows you to easily create promotions we have a promotion editing tool um, for you know sales and, and stuff like that discount coupon codes so if you're not sure how to edit your promotions we have two different guides listed here so how to add a store-wide discount and edit a promotion on your page promotions obviously a very useful tool to selling more products okay so number 10 custom domain name email address and logo so when you're on a plus or reputation plan you get access to a free custom website up to four professional emails and a free logo there's a few different things you can do with the logo and I've talked about it in other videos you can hire someone to make you a logo which can be expensive if you have some graphic design ability yourself you can make one or I think the best option here is we give you access to a logo creator tool which creates high quality logos within seconds so you literally just type in the name of your business and it'll generate a bunch of different logos you can use so all of these help build credibility user experience and make it easier for customers to find you and we have the data to back that up so we have a study i can't remember the exact numbers but it was two to three times better sales for customers that have high quality logos versus ones that didn't and then we have some articles here about some of the most common questions that customers are asking but yeah this is a very important section and definitely one you should look into okay moving along into number 11 onboarding a meeting completed we know a lot of people want to talk to an expert directly rather than reading guides very understandable um, that's why if you sign up to our lifetime deal you have opportunity to book a 30 minute chat with our you and i website expert through our through your hub um, they'll help you with editing your website to marketing your business or giving you um, giving your website a complete facelift if you if you prefer so this is a great opportunity to ask um, the person that made your website hey how do I use this feature or hey can I change this to a different color or maybe you want to do it yourself and you want to you know don't have to go through another person that is an option available to you so these 30 minute calls are very educational and very useful moving along into number 12 share your website widely it doesn't matter how great your website is um, if no one knows that it exists very true whether it's through your social media whatsapp email or other avenue sharing your page is an essential part of making sure your business uh, your business is set for success so you want to cast a net as wide as possible you want or as big as possible you want to catch as many customers from as many different avenues and i talked about this in some other videos let's say you have a business like you're selling cakes and someone buys a cake from your business um, and you have an Instagram page so they decide to follow you on there and you know some point down the road maybe they want to buy another cake or maybe they're asking you know they're asked by someone hey do you know anyone that makes custom cakes and there you are with your Instagram constantly posting content reminding the customer that you are available to make more cakes for them they'll immediately recommend you or use your service again so those things are kind of invaluable you know the repeat customers are really useful and definitely have as many social media platforms and you know plug your product into into as many places as you possibly can number 13 if you're selling products you'll certainly want to sync up your shop with Facebook and Instagram shop for more information on getting the most out of your Instagram account we have a particular guide here which is how to sell more products first uh, with Instagram shopping um, for Facebook we also have a different guide 
One thing to note here is you're looking for convenience and we have a one button feature which allows you to um, easily edit all of your shops on various platforms. So this helps your customer easily um, purchase your product regardless of where they find you or where they'd like to purchase from. So very important to check out these two guides. Okay, so moving along, GMB, built, verified, and connected, making sure your Google My Business is correctly connected to your site is a great way to help increase your online visibility. Through your UNI Hub, you can make sure that your GMB is connected to your business properly. So um, <clears throat> actually, we have an example of this. So this is a uh, business that sells um, fishing adventures, fishing excursions, whatever you want to call them. And as you can see right off the bat, they have their Google um, My Business feature at the top of their page and various client reviews you know just think about it yourself when you're buying a service or a product you're obviously one of the first things you're going to check is google reviews and making sure that this is a legitimate website um, before you buy their products or services google reviews enabled on your website we just talked about that here this person has um, their Google's enabled. Um, share your review link to your customers online. Once your GMB is set up and your reviews are properly synced, you should share your review link with custom with your customers and encourage them to leave reviews. You can find this review link in the clients tab of your UNI Hub at the bottom of the page. Another thing you can do, or another thing that will happen once once your website is set up, once a customer buys one of your products, they'll be prompted. Um, they'll be asked to leave a review for your service or product. Okay, number 15 is a big one, CEO, target local terms. By targeting a smaller area, you will rank higher um, since you are competing against fewer competitors. So for example, if your search terms are burrs in the UK, then you'd be competing in the rankings you know, against all the big chains, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, and so on, um, plus as well as any restaurant restaurants that sell burgers. However, by focusing on local terms, um, even like burgers and Hammersmith, you'll have fewer competitors, thereby allowing you to rank higher. It is worth noting that people usually do uh, searches similar to burgers near me rather than burgers plus you know locality. So since Google prefers to locate businesses via geolocation as well as terms, um, having smaller specific location on your business will rank higher for customers who search for near near uh, near your chosen location. This doesn't mean um, you can write five different areas in five countries. Google will pick up on that. However, it's all right to use several locations close to each other, like Hammersmith, Fulham, Barron's Court. I don't know if anyone's from the UK that knows these locations, but I think I know Fulham Football Club. I'm not sure about these other two spots. So for more information on driving traffic to your website, please check out our series here. So this is a much longer read. This is probably going to be its own video one day. Driving traffic to your website is a, a massive topic. So if you'd like uh, you and I to optimize your CEO on the regular plan, you can also sign up um, to one of our plans. So, you know, definitely something to consider and something you can ask um, someone from you and I if you're interested. Okay, moving along, number 16, another CEO um, point. Be hyper specific. Hyper specific. Be as specific as possible. Online rankings can be very competitive, especially if you're competing with sellers across the globe. Um, by being as specific as possible with your key terms and descriptions, you'll be able to attract the most likely to buy customers as well as rank higher due to fewer competition using the specific terminology. So we have an example here. Let's say you're selling socks. Um, if that was your only key uh, word, you could be ranked, you know, 10,000th for socks, making it specific by saying, you know, white socks. Well, now you're in the top 1,000 uh, of the result. You could be 100th if you say white con socks and possibly fifth if you say white con socks with polka dot design. So I think you kind of understand the idea here as specific as possible is going to be way better for you. It's important though to avoid going overboard. You'll be missing out on customers who aren't writing, you know, ivory white cotton socks with a red polka dot design for, <laughs> for a size seven, uh, seven to eight. So yeah, that's a little bit too specific. So keep it relevant and add details to on-page information and product descriptions. Customers may not search these directly, but you will need it eventually when they go to purchase. Okay, so number 17, active listings. One of the key features for the plus plan 
is our listings management feature. This is an easy way to get your business onto some of the most trusted directories around like Uber, um, Apple Maps, and Facebook. We can help you build your business profile for all of these and get you listed in a few days, which means more time for you to spend doing what you actually love. No one loves doing the nitty gritty um, behind the detail stuff. Obviously, most of our clients, most of our you know businesses want to do um, what, what they set out to do, which is sell products or services. Okay, moving along to number 18, Activated Reviews Manager. There are so many websites now, you're probably familiar with some of the big ones, Google, Facebook, Yelp, and others. Once connected, this tool will collect your reviews from these websites and allow you to read and respond um, in one easy place. Simply responding to reviews will raise your ranks in these review websites and also help improve your service slash product or identifying areas for improvement. Furthermore, you uh, may even be able to turn some reviews around from misguided um, customers. So obviously address reviews, good or bad. You don't want to seem like you're avoiding certain complaints or you know that you know this, this is not gonna look good for your business. And even when you think about it yourself, when you go in and look for reviews on a service and you see the owner hasn't responded to a single negative review, uh, you know, it does make you wonder if these are legitimate or, you know, if you want to continue with purchasing their services. So definitely something to keep in mind. Number 19, we're approaching the end here. Gather customers, emails, and request reviews. Requesting reviews is key to making your business trustworthy. More than 90% of people read reviews before buying a product. Kind of makes sense. So you must um, get as many reviews as you can on your Google um, business profile. We have a video, which I will also link to in the description, that shows you how to easily ask for your customers' emails and store them within the UNI website. Once you have these emails, you can send out an automatic message saying, hey, did you, you know, enjoy your you know, product or service that we, we sold to you? Can you please leave us a review? Obviously, don't use those words. Um, <laughs> that's not really good, but we have definitely some help here. Um, so you can put that in better wording. Number 20, download the web app to make it easier to use. When you log into the editor on mobile, you'll be able to download the editor app directly to your phone, allowing you to edit your page on the go. So let's say, I don't know, maybe you messed up the price for a certain product and you know, you're traveling somewhere, you won't be home, you won't be able to access your computer for a while. Of course, it's easier for you to just jump on your phone, change the price, click save, and be done with it. And finally, point number 21. Wow, I can't believe we've made it this far. Google Ads Voucher. So our VIP customers on our plus and reputation plans, which you don't have to sign up for if you don't want to, are able to take advantage of you and I's partnership with Google. We can offer you discounts on Google Premium AdWords uh, marketing service via the hub. Um, you will get nearly double credit on your initial purchase in credit, and you can use this to get your page to the top of searches relevant to your business. So a lot of really useful information here. This is its own article if you're interested in checking it out, how to get the most out of your UNI's um, Google ad credits. But that brings us to the end of this very long video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know in the comments below. Would love to help you out. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, we've made a bunch of different videos on this channel. We're even experimenting with some short videos, some of our more interesting clients and services. So subscribe to check that stuff. Um, subscribe and check that stuff out. And um, yeah, consider dropping a like and I'll see you next time. Peace.